Hey everybody, welcome back. Today's episode, we're gonna get into a little project, real quick, easy, down and dirty product, a real basic solar generator. The last solar generator I built was really complex. If you wanna watch that video, I have a link down in the description below. But this project's gonna be kind of just a real quick and easy one. We've got the main component set up. Batteria Power is sponsoring this video. They sent me the solar charge controller and the uh, wires, the connection wires. We're gonna get into that. But let's look at the basic components of a solar generator. Of course, we're gonna need a solar panel. This is the Shine Giant 200 watt solar panel, right? We have a battery, DC house, 100 amp hour battery. What's cool about this battery with this project is we have USB connectors, little 12 volt outlet connectors on this battery. So we don't have to buy those components. Solar charge controller, right? That's gonna convert that power, right? Through this MPPT solar charge controller from Batteria Power to uh, be able to charge this battery from the solar panel, right? And then of course, you're gonna need the inverter so you can invert that 12 volt to 120 volt. Let's come in here close. Let's look at the components that Battery of Power sent me for this, right? We're gonna have SAE connectors, right? This is our SAE extension cable, six foot extension cable, right? Super flexible cable, links down below. It's gonna come with your little straps kind of to keep everything organized. And we have a polarity reversing plug. If something doesn't match up, right? we're gonna have our MC4 connectors, MC4. That's how we're gonna connect our solar panel to our MC4 to SAE adapter, right? Six foot, if you look at this, nice and flexible. And then it has this, this nice heavy duty rubber protector over all of the cables. So with this project, right, it's gonna be portable, it's gonna be mobile as things maybe scuff around on the ground, you don't have to worry about anything getting marred or chafed up with this really nice protector on it. Also, this uh, battery of power cable system has these little waterproof plugs, right? If you have anything disconnected. So nice, nice cables there from battery of power. NPPT charge controller, right? Maximum power point tracking on a charge controller. So it's gonna take the volts and the amps coming out of that. It's gonna configure it the best possible way to use as much of that energy from that solar panel to charge this battery. I believe this is a Bluetooth NPPT, but we'll take a look at that. We'll see. Good for lead acid, uh, AGM batteries, and lithium iron phosphate batteries, right? Comes with a couple extra connectors. We're gonna use one of these that's gonna be connected to the battery. Right, we have our instructions in here. Also have another reverse polarity connector right, in this pack. And our inverter, the Joompa 2000 watt uh, inverter. This is a really nice inverter. I did a review on this not too long ago. This inverter has a bonded neutral ground, so it really mimics uh, the power in your house. So if you ended up hooking this up to any appliances in your house, microwave, uh, any of your computers, it is a pure sine wave, it's going to mimic grid power with that bonded neutral. It is the LGE 2080 Ti from Joompaw. Say links for all this down below. Let's get started on this. My, uh, my concept of this is just to have essentially a battery box made out of plywood, right, with a nice tall back on it. On that tall back, we're going to install the solar charge controller on it and we're going to mount our inverter on it wire everything in have a little handle on the top of that you just grab it and go it doesn't have to be complex so let's go ahead and start uh, cutting some wood for this project start putting this thing together should be a quick i say a quick and easy uh, solar generator project so i've got all the pieces cut here just a real simple setup right we're going to build a simple box right we're gonna build a simple box and this is the back of the box okay battery is gonna go in here we're gonna mount the inverter either on the front or the back of this just really have to see we might mount it on the front we'll just see how everything lines up we have a handle to carry it 
We're gonna mount the MPP charge controller, either the front or the back, wire everything in, and that's how that's gonna look. Let's go ahead and get it all screwed together. We're finished with it. I mean, honestly, this, this build probably took 30 minutes to put together, right? It's portable. We have the handle for it, right? We can remove the battery, put another battery in. We can make this for whatever battery size we have. Um, it's affordable, it's basic, it does everything it needs to do. Might not be the best looking, but it's super functional and practical if you're on a budget, right? We have our 20 amp battery of power MPPT, MPPT charge controller set up right here. Bluetooth capable, we'll show you the Bluetooth capabilities on that. We have it connected to the battery of SAE cable, right? So this is SAE connectors on the MPPT. We have our SAE to MC4 uh, converter, little converter cable here, right? All links are down below. And we have our battery of power, power uh, MC4 solar cable. <clears throat> That's gonna plug into our Shine Giant 200 watt solar panel, like I say, max input on this charge controller, 300 watts at 12 volts, 600 watts if you're running a 24 volt system. This charge controller is capable of 12 and 24 volt like I say, it is Bluetooth. We tried that out, we'll show you here in just a second, right? We have our DC house battery hooked up, and if we get in real close, just a simple wiring connections, everything connects to the battery, right? You wanna make sure that you hook up the battery before the solar panel on any charge controller. The, the, it gets its power from the battery, so it has to be on first, then you hook the solar panel up. We have the DC house, right? 100 amp hour battery. What's nice about this battery, right? We have our state of charge, right? So we know what the charge is on the battery, so we can always monitor it here. We have our USB out. USB-C out, we have our 12 volt, little 12 volt plug out right here. Now, if we spin this thing around, right, this is where our inverter is. This is where we really convert that 12 volt to 120 volt. This is the Joompa uh, 2080, uh, 2000 watt inverter, pure sine wave inverter, nice solid inverter. I'm actually really happy with this, right? 120 volts, so we have everything we need. We could plug this thing into a refrigerator, television, this thing will actually operate a microwave. If you need more power, just build a bigger little station, bigger station here. You could put a 200 amp hour battery, but it's just basic. We have the, the, the battery, the weight of the battery will keep this thing from flipping over. So let's go ahead. We're gonna hook this solar panel up on this. We're gonna hook a load onto this. We're gonna monitor the Bluetooth app and uh, show you it actually like working and functional and just to show you how basic this thing is and then it does work. All right, we have this thing all set up. We have the app here, right? We're gonna go ahead and put this app on the screen off to the side. You can see all the parameters on the application now, right? Solar panels working, right? We have 13.3 volts of power. You see here right in the top, that's in the battery, 13.3 volts. Uh, the solar input, right? We're running MPPT voltage 16.6 .6 volts coming out of this <clears throat> we are putting in 151 watts of power into this battery from this solar panel so you see all the information we have the today's running uh information right kind of some historical data but we're going to go over and switch to the historical data right you can see the graph here as that logs in it'll maintain that memory in that uh, charge controller and then we have a parameter setting here. This is where we can set between lead acid or lithium batteries. We can do some advanced settings on this, our shutoff voltage, any of that can be set in this little screen, but a real simple app to, uh, to monitor, to use. Walk in front of the solar panel, you can see here as she walks in front of the solar panel, right, that power wattage drops, we're down to 120 now. And as we clear that shadow off of the solar panel, Right, it goes right back up. So it reads in real time, right? There it went, reads in real time, just maybe a couple second delay through the Bluetooth. So uh, the app is a really nice app. To the whole system, it works like it's supposed to. It's easy, it's compact. Like it literally took me 30 minutes max to just build this thing and put it together after I got all the components. It's, it's compact, we can take it camping with us, we can pull it out. 
if there's a power outage during a hurricane, uh, we can run our accessories. We can we could run a microwave for this thing with this thing if we needed our TVs. Um, I say it's great for emergency prep. Uh, we're happy with the system, and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember to subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button. I'm trying to get up to 10,000 subscribers. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time. Bloop.